Big story tonight. Rockford residents are speaking out after their apartment complex caught fire last Thursday. Our 13 WRX's Bailey Bozen sat down with two individuals living at Park Terrace Apartments, now recovering and recounting what happened that early morning. Montel Page and his neighbors thought it was a false alarm when descending down the 10th floor stairwell. It wasn't until they reached the 5th floor that they knew this was an actual emergency. And it was just straight white smoke and it was like, uh-uh. As you're going down, you hear people coughing and we got off at the 5th floor and there was around 20 people there standing by the window. Page recounts when residents realized they were now stuck due to the smoke. At one point they just started busting open the screens because they really couldn't breathe. So as we're sitting there for a few minutes, and lucky for us, the fire department came up and we're all huddled in the corner. They started going through, just kicking doors open, making sure that people were coming out. Earl Jarrett was asleep on the 11th floor when he was awoken from a neighbor yelling for everyone to evacuate. He describes what happened while stuck in the third floor stairwell when he could hear sirens approaching. And it's, we need a ladder, help us, we need a ladder. So we bust out the screens to get the fresh air in, and then uh, they came with some two ladders. But the individuals were scared of going down the ladders. And then some individuals were not able to go down there. They were uh, wheelchair bound. Park Terrace is a housing development owned and managed by Rockford Housing Authority. It is home to 183 elderly and or disabled families. Montel Page remembers seeing some of those residents trying to get out. There's my neighbor right next door. She has a walker and she had to walk down the stairs. And there were a lot of people with wheelchairs and stuff that were scooting down the stairs trying to get out of there. Both residents commend the fast responses from the first responders and city officials. They say the RHA was on site, staying alongside them to ensure they were cared for, bus to safety, and even providing them with temporary housing. From the upper, upper management to the lower individuals that work at the housing authority, they have been there from day one. Since this incident started, they have been there and showed their support, and I really appreciate that. Looking back on this incident, Montel Page is reminded of just how fast life can change. Life changing or is a sort of, makes, sort of humbling, and it makes you think, and it also makes you think too, life is short. You're never sure what's going to happen. Just last Friday, I was sitting there posting on Facebook how I'm riding through the city on my little e-bike. And now Friday late, I'm like, there is a fire. So things have changed like that. In Rockford, Bailey Bozen, 13 WREX. The Rockford Housing Authority has organized temporary housing for those displaced until the apartment complex is ready for their return.